Welcome back everybody to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This is of course my playthrough of the entire Zelda timeline and we're nearly through Skyward Sword. We're nearly through the first game in the Zelda timeline here. Uh, today I'm just going to quickly collect a couple of goddess chests and then we're going to go speak to Levias or whatever Wingardium Leviosa we want to call him. That's the Sky Whale. And uh, yeah, we're going to find out the last piece of the hero's song, the song of the hero. And then we're going to go find the Triforce, and I'm not even kidding, we're literally going to find a Triforce. So I thought I'd do that intro as I flew over here, and we will collect the first goddess chest here, and then I'll cut to the next one once we have this one open. And we got a silver ruby! I feel like a celebrity, no. Not at all. Right. That's what the, the text said. Right, next one I'm heading to is going to be this one. Right here. Ooh. There we go. And I'm going to try to grab these ones in the Thunderhead. The, 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 the Thunderhead. Oh god, it's so glitchy. This is why I hate Wii games. At times. There's also some amazing ones. Right. Do we need to grab these three? As well. Right. Uh, I'm actually going to head over to Bamboo Island next and just do the Bamboo game once. So you'll see me doing that. Now. So I thought as this is the last episode, we're probably going to be up here in the sky. I thought it'd be, you know, worth... Revisiting a couple of old things such as this little mini game here current high score is 24 We haven't tried this with the true master sword. So let's see how we do Here we go Terribly we did terribly Oh, we're gonna do it this time. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be it 28 look at that. I knew it as I started slicing away there, I knew I'd get 28. I knew it. All done. Let's count those cuts. Score is 28. A new record. Way to go, kid. There was one humdinging a linger. Humdinging a linger? Of a score? I only reached that number a few times myself. Here's your prize. All we get is a golden skull. But there we go. That's all I wanted to do here. Let's head off to the next goddess chest. Okay, Chewie. We're going to the next goddess chest now. It's fine. And inside this goddess chest, we have a piece of heart. That's a new start of a heart container, actually, there. I swear just then I said heart pieces and not goddess chests. I don't think they're all going to have heart containers in. Well, you never know. Oh, good job, Link. Fall flat on your face. So this is Bug Island again. You're in here in search of a goddess chest. Who puts a goddess chest here? What an awkward position. I got it though. I got it. And inside is another piece of heart. Well, I, maybe I should have kept saying piece of heart last time. Anyway, next one. You got a small quiver. Well, we already have a large quiver. Thanks, game. And right on top of the Isle of Songs here is our final goddess chest that we're probably ever going to get in the entire series. Crazy to think. But here we go. See what is inside the fifth goddess chest of the episode? It's another bomb bag. Okay. That can go in there and check. Well, that was fun. Let's go speak to Levias. Look at this. His body is crazy. It's huge. It's quite an iconic looking shot right there. Bah, so you've learned all three parts of the songs from the dragons there. Well done, young one. True to my word, I'll perform the last part of the song for you. Kinda creepy. Hold on, Link. Hold on for your life. from terror to enjoyment in about five seconds. Usually takes guys longer than that, Link. You learned the final part of the Song of the Hero, but bloop! The dragons are up here now too. And the full Song of the Hero can be played. I thought that was going to be a Spider-Man situation there. Upside down kiss. Oh. 
And there we go. We now know the full song. We've heard it played. Song of the Hero is now complete. Now that you know the song, I trust you know what to do with it. That old song opens the door to a great trial. Should you succeed in conquering the challenge that awaits you, I'm certain the path to the Triforce will be revealed to you. <gasps> Report, Master. I have determined that there is a trial gate somewhere among these floating islands that can be opened by the Song of the Hero. So you should use your dousing ability to locate it. Oh yeah, so now we have to do another Silent Realm trial. And if you point over this way, well, there's one island that's over that way. Yes, I know, Chewie. We have to go to Skyloft. I get it. I get it. Yeah, you don't have to tell me that we have to go to Skyloft. I already know that. I swear to god, it's like only Han can understand what Chewie is saying in Star Wars. Only I can understand what Chewie in real life is saying. I know! I'm going there! And right there is the signature three butterflies flying around some weird glowy orb. This is going to be a long episode. I just want to point that one out. Oh man. Right. Get the harp out. And here we go, time to play the song of the hero. With Fi doing her auto-tune thing. I love the lighting here, look at how cool Skyloft looks. There we go. Push your sword into the center of the mark and open the final way to the silent realm. Well, the, the way to the final silent realm. And here we go. Ready thy sword. And in we go. One last time. This is so creepy. Seeing the silent realm like this up here. This is by far the hardest one as well. By far the hardest one. By like a fairly large shot actually. Master Link, you have entered the last of the trials, the Goddess of Silent Realm. Alright, we got the Spirit Vessel. When you have filled the Spirit Vessel once more, you shall finally be recognized as the true hero of legend. Only then will you be shown the door that will lead you to the Triforce. Do you have any questions before you face the task ahead of you? No. Understood, Master. Right then. Let's do this. So before we start, let's figure out where some nearby are. There's clearly going to be one up there, but that's going to be a fairly tricky one to get. We probably want to get one straight away so we get our kind of leeway. So let's head straight for that one. All the guardians will be activated, so we don't have a long. But we should be able to get it before he gets us. Yeah, okay, cool. Sacred Tear. And then I'm just going to go over here and grab this too. And then I think this one is probably a good one just to go and get. As a car drives past at loud, very quick speeds. No, up. Up link. Yeah, I think this is just a good one to go get now. Because we can move away from this area. Right. Let's hop down. Right. We should be pretty good now. So I say we leave that area to last. So let's go this way first. So start by going up here. We'll just wait for this guy to make a move back to the left. And run for it. Okay. Need him to move again. And... Oh no. Oh god! I got stuck on the, the scenery. Down. Oh man, I need to go for that one right there. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Grab another one of these. Grab this one. I'm going to leave those two for a little bit later. Because I want to go this way first. 
Can I hop over here? Oh! Well, that was a good link. That was really good. Yeah, don't do that in future. So I guess we gotta head down this way. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna leave that one for when I come back this way. Um. Oh man. Oh, this is tricky. Whew. And up. And now we're gonna head this way. And keep heading this way. So I think we got all the ones on this section. Where all the other ones are over there. So let's head up up here towards the academy. It's all about just kind of sweeping through and doing each section by section. No, I don't know if we can actually go this way. It's all blocked off. Uh, is there any up There is one up there. Okay. We might go for that one first. And across here. We haven't done this climbing puzzle in a long time. A million episodes. But these Silent Realm ones aren't too difficult, like none of them are tricky if you just take them systematically, so part by part. Grab this. Oh, he's still chasing me. Ooh. Right, okay, let me just take a quick break, because that guy kind of chased me out of there. So this guy goes all the way over there. Then he turns around. If we get caught by him, we're kind of screwed really quick, so I'm just going to wait for him to do another turn here. And this way. Close. Grab it now and pull it all the way. And up. There we go. Reset that timer as well. So there's none over here, so we're good there. Is there any now still behind us? No? Okay, we can head this way. And we can go down here and we can grab these ones. I just did this for timing measures, so let me figure out, now we have this one left right there. We are going to have to go from here all the way over to here. This is where things start getting tricky in these last few. But I swear there's, there's four remaining, no five remaining, I only see lights for, let me just grab this. One, two, three, four, oh there's the fourth one, okay. Right, let's do this. Top across here. Get this one. And people might be looking at this now thinking, Matt, how is this the most difficult one? Just believe me. It's about to get real tricky real quick. So I'm going to try to avoid that guy down there. Come over here. So we may have to get caught just to trigger a couple of these. But this one should be fine. I just don't know how far this guy goes before he turns around. I'm just going to wait and see. Nope, nope. Yeah, I can make that run though. I just need to wait for him. Okay, so in the meantime, let me go grab one of these flowers. Alright, and we can figure out... So we're going to go probably to the left first, because the right is... well. The left is that crazy one, maybe I'll leave that to the left. So I'll go right first. Right, so I'm going to follow this guy real close. And then go. Okay. So down here there's just one of these guys. Which shouldn't be too bad. And then if we go up here... I think this one is just sat here, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, we'll do that. Is this all, is this, does this water retreat? It does, how much? All the way? Cool. Right, so let's go try to get the one in the graveyard now. He should be finishing his cycle. He's coming for me. I'm gonna let him catch me right here. Which means he disappears and triggers the guardians, but I'm right next to a tier anyway. So I'll just grab that tier, which resets him as well, which is the slightly annoying thing. But it's just the easiest way to kind of get rid of him. So I'm just going to wait for him to go on his path a little bit more. We only have the one left, so... We just have to run, and we should be fine now. Okay. So this is my least favourite tier in the entire game to get. 
I don't like it. I remember getting really angry and actually losing here. Which I don't remember how I did, considering it's... You could just pick it up, but clearly I must have messed up. Every last sacred tier. Try will continue to exit. So here's the issue. Getting back out of here isn't going to be that easy. <laughs> I'm totally going to be caught. Whew. Okay. We did good. We didn't get caught the entire Silent Realm. See, I say that now. I have to get back all the way over there. And I have to avoid this dude. Which, in my opinion, is not going to be easy. Right, let's follow him. We have no limit on time here, so we can take it slow. Oh god, he got me! Oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no! No! I ran out of stamina! No! I have to do it all again! So I'm not kidding when I say that happened twice. I just did the exact same thing I did on the first one, but I saved my stamina. I'll probably speed through it so you can see me just kind of quickly run through that section again. But there we go, and we got the Stone of the Trials. This engraved object was created to lead the Chosen Hero to the hidden location of the Triforce. Well, like I said, this is going to be a pretty long episode. This is the, you know, penultimate episode. That means one before the finale, if anyone's wondering what penultimate means. One before last. Penultimate. And there we go. We are all done. Congratulations, Master. You have passed all of the trials. The stone of the trials you just obtained is actually one of a pair, Master. Another similar object with a mark just like the one that holds exists somewhere on this island. Combining the two shall open the way to the Triforce. I suggest you search for that matching stone. So, we don't search for it. I, I think I pointed out in an earlier episode. I vividly remember this part of the game because I got really confused the first time I played it. I was like, what? How do I find a stone that looks just like that? It's really easy. So all we have to do is run over here. Hop across the stones in the river. And go over to this bird right here. And if you look right there in his eye, got the exact same one. We examine. And put the other one in. And there we go. And we have the final dungeon kind of thing of the game to do this episode as well. So yeah, remember when I said this was going to be a long episode? It's going to be a long episode. <laughs> I just like how it shoots a cannon and then it just falls down. It looks so silly. Link's like, did that, did that not work? Um, well, that was anticlimactic. Good job, weird statue. But no, there we go. The earth around the island comes away. Revealing that the place from the very first episode of the game is now the place for the final temple of the game. You know, I think the spiral structure on it looks a lot like the um, the the way we run up and down the the valley of the imprisoned. You know, the, the sealed grounds. You know, just saying. Just saying. So there we go. Look at that. It's pretty epic. A report, Master Link. My calculations indicate an 85% chance that the Triforce is inside. Given this development, I project that the moment for Zelda to fulfill her destiny and bring, bring, bring an end to demise is close at hand. I'm reading too quick. I'm like, this episode is going to be like 900 minutes long. 
All right, let's do this thing. Let's got a claw shot across here. Boop. I love these little claw shot things. Boop. Boop. That's great. I wish they made the boop sound. Like I just made. <laughs> That'd be great. Right. And down to the final one. And let go. And inside we go. With some epic music too. And here we are. The Sky Keep. So this is a really weird temple. It's not like anything they've ever done in Zelda before, nor is it anything like that's come in Skyward Sword before it either. It's a really, really bizarre one where you can shift rooms and change like a maze-like pattern. It's a really weird one. Let's grab the chest here. And we get the dungeon map, which is going to be, you know, massively useful. Because as you can see, this is the layout of the dungeon. And we want to get all three of those Triforce pieces. Master, I have information to report. I detect three sources of sacred power within the building. This power clearly radi radiates from the Triforce. I have triangulated the three sources of power and marked them with a triangle. Thanks. So, we go in here. And we can examine, and we can see this shows the three different areas. So, we have courage, wisdom, and power. And what we can do is we can grab and we can shift these rooms around in whatever order we want. But we can't ever move this one. So, we can shift these this way, shift these this way, and so on, and so on. So, each of these rooms as well are designed after different parts of the world below, which is kind of an interesting take on it, to be honest. But as you can see, we can't get through here just yet. So if we go over here, we can... Well, he, he, I killed him as he attacked me. There we go. We can go this way. So if we get our whip, and actually, let's jump back a second. We need our slingshot, weirdly enough. Maybe we can do this with a bow too. Maybe it'll be easier with the bow. Come on, slingshot. Don't make me get the bow out. Wow, it doesn't even want to do it. The beetle. See what the beetle can do. There we go. See, it was beetle power all along. That's all we needed. And let's grab the whip again. And swing again. There's a skull tool right here. Wow. He's just going to do that, is he? Is that what you're going to do? So this is kind of like a recap. We've just had the boss battle episode last episode. This is now kind of a recap through all the dungeons. Which is really kind of interesting. This is kind of a mix of... Um, it's Skyview Temple, yeah, and Ancient Cistern, all mixed into one, as you can see. And if we still look at our map, we're still in this first room. They're quite big, the rooms, so... So this first room's kind of a weird one. We have that Phoenix flying around uh, over there, as you can see, and we've got these annoying little guys who like to just sit along there. But what we can do is you can fly a beetle into them. So all we have to do is fly our beetle, grab one of these bombs here. We can't speed up once we do this, but we can just fly them straight into here. Alright, we should be good now to just swing across here. And land on here. And then we want to stand like this and get the gust bellows out. I'm going to aim this way. Just like that. And we want to aim this way. And... Oh god! Missed it. Ah, 
Okay, let's try that again. So this way, and wait for it to come back, and then this way, we push it all the way back. Push it all the way back again. Come on, that should have done it. There we go. Then we've got to do the same here. We just push this way. And there we go. Right, so that's this room done. And then if we just run up here, that will unlock the door at the very beginning. So we don't have to do all that again. We can go through here into a room with a Triforce piece in it. These rooms are so creepy. Why are they so evil looking where they keep the Triforce? I mean, look at it. This is a creepy looking room. Who would keep something as nice as a Triforce in such a creepy looking room? Master, look over that way. The design flow in the mark for I detect the sacred power of the Triforce emanating from its vicinity. Which area that marks your propose you pass through the door in front of you. But unfortunately we don't have a key, so we've got to shift things around again. So now we can go through this door and it'll be a different room where there should be a key at the other side of it, if I did things correctly. Because this is a Linaru mine-esque looking place. Look at this. So we've got to pick one of these bad boys up and run around with it. Yeah, 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 okay. I thought there was a drop there. And there's one of these things. I'm going to place this down here. Oh, good. Just what I wanted to happen. You away from the ladder enough for me to climb it? Nope. Maybe? There we go. Oh, look how close that is. Didn't place it quite close enough. And there we go. We can do that. Unlock that. Now we can hop down here. Unlock this. See, it doesn't last very long, so what we've got to do is we've got to pick this up. Throw it. And that's going to go with... That thing's going to die again. I don't really want to fight things. I feel like a pacifist today. Just want to just wanna survive. And this should come out of here. There we go. Pick it up and continue through. Okay, so we're going to do it, leave it like this, and we're going to run back, get the Triforce of Power, and then we're going to run back and change all this around again. And here we go. Fire for power, I guess. Master, I have information for you. I've detected the source of a sacred power somewhat within this chamber. Somewhat within this chamber. Indeed it is. 6% chance you'll arrive. Thanks. So there is some vines going up to another door up above, which looks to be locked. It is. But if we go over here, we can use our bow to knock this down. Which will create a little platform for us. And we can start shooting keys. Well, I missed that last one. You moved the wrong way. Come here. Oh god. What is he doing? He's just flying into a wall. Alright, okay. Oh no, I just I just ran out of... Um, oh god, this isn't going to be good. I ran out of arrows as I needed to come and hit this. Woo, that was lucky. Maybe I didn't need to do that. I thought that's what I had to do. To get across to it. Maybe I don't. Going for it! Oh, look at that! Leap of faith was had. Right. Again, I ran out of arrows because I decided to go crazy on those keys. And we can just get a claw shot. We go up here. And right in front of us. Master, have you, you've reached the mark. Calculate high probability to show the way of oh, the Triforce. I didn't read most of that. I want to. Ready sword, there we go. And into another Silent Realm section. Clearly the Sacred Realm. 
This is kind of the reveal of that. You got the Triforce of Power created by the old gods. The Triforce possesses unlimited and ultimate. I almost said unlimited power. Ultimate power, and it's said to grant the wishes of whoever possesses it. Just two more pieces to go. And there we go. We now have the Triforce of Power. So we can head back through here. And we are back at the start again, which is good, because now we can shift the rooms around from a new point of origin. So we can go back through there and up here if we really want. Um, the only thing is, it's going to be tricky to maneuver these in a way that's going to work. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Why? Why? Oh god, I hate it. I hate this already. I didn't think we were fighting this guy again. I totally forgot about this battle. This is the, uh, he's like a robot king rather than a robot pirate. Oh man, the electricity is the worst. Come on, attack me. Come on, come on, Link. There we go, come on. So close. Now he's really angry. And there we go. Whew. He's a feisty one. Feisty one, you are. No? No one no one understands my British jokes. Okay. And across here. Oh, no, no. I hate that motion on here. There we go. And this should be the small key to unlock the Triforce of Courage. It is indeed. And if we head through this door, we'll be back in the land of... What is this door? Oh, there's another thing. That's interesting. I just put my shield away. So actually, we want to go through here anyway. Remember, we came here really early on and the door was locked. Right here, but now it is unlocked. Thanks to the key we just got. And we can fight some of these fellas. Okay, that was uh, kind of crazy. Let's try to do the same to this guy. There we go. You kill him so quickly with the Master Sword, it's kind of insane. Kinda. Come on, attack me. Okay, don't attack me, please. Yeah, let's just leave me alone for a while. Yeah? Thanks. Oh, I shot that one out of the sky. He's down. The, uh, the whole idea of having hearts right now would be really good, but yeah, I don't. Next room! <laughs> oh no. So I'd rather not die right now. Oh my god, there's cursed bokoblins in here too. Okay. Man, I need to watch the, the Stalfos, not the bokoblins. Um, he, d he looks angry. He's very angry. Oh, I'm down. Whew. Fairy, come and rescue me. That was insane. If I'm careful, we should only have to use that one fairy. Because I'm going to need the other ones for the rest of this game. I said if I was careful. Clearly I'm not being careful right now. Yeah, definitely not being careful. Oh god, he's got three eyes! I knocked his helmet off, look at him! He's gross! There we go. Last hit. Down he goes, slipping on his own skull. Yeah, can you... Oh look, another fair! Should we... I say we capture it in the bottle that we just used. Um... There we go. Got a fairy, this playful spike will replenish six of your hearts. If you put it in the bottom and keep it with you, it will aid you automatically. Sweet. Let's get out of here. It was a crazy battle. 
This episode has now been at least an hour long. That's what I do want to say. I want to end the end the series in two episodes in the previous one, I guess. And here we go. Let's get another piece of the Triforce. You got the Triforce of Courage. Created by the old gods, this Triforce possesses unlimited power and is said to grant whoever... Blah, 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 blah. Yep, that's the end of that sentence. And there we go. Dunzo. Right, so I say we head back to the previous area and shift some things around again. And finally... Uh, Come on! We are done. <laughs> Whew. It's been a long episode. Let's get the final piece of the Triforce here. And there we go. You got the Triforce of Wisdom created by the Old Gods. The Triforce possesses ultimate power and is said to grant the wishes of whoever possesses it. The Triforce is complete with its power. You have the ability to make Zelda's wish of vanquishing demise a reality. Mm, but some stuff's going down now. Mmm. Mmm. As you can see, things are things are happening. Things going back up to the the pedestal, the, the the section of the statue where he where Zelda gave him the sailcloth originally. And this music is playing. Look at this. I think this is the first time in like ever that Link has the Triforce. It's been a very, I think this is the first time in a 3D Zelda game, right? That Link acquires the Triforce. We see it in Wind Waker, but he doesn't use it or like acquire it himself like fully. I believe at this juncture that a prayer is required. The ultimate goal we have traveled so far is now within our reach. Focus now and wish with all your might for the destruction of demise. Here we go. But it's never that easy, kids. It's never that easy. Look at that. We've descended on the Isle of the... Well, what is this thing called? Isle of the Goddess? I don't, I don't know what this is called. But this section of Skyloft with the goddess statue on it is now descending below the clouds, spinning fairly rapidly in the process. Which is pretty amazing. Look how cool this looks. And there is the imprisoned once again, escaping from its crater. But no longer fruits. It's now going to be held back by a force too strong. Too powerful. And that force is the Triforce. And demise and the imprisoned is no more. We just brought a piece of the sky down to the earth. And we broke a bit of Groose's track in the process. <laughs> Sorry, Groose. Very cool, isn't it? Look at that. Can you see the shape of the Temple of Time there as well? Master Link, I have news. I have confirmed that the Isle of the Goddess... Yes, I got the name right which was formerly part of Scholars, have returned to the surface. 
Furthermore, I have detected the successful eradication of demise. Your prayers to the Triforce have been heard. In light of these factors, the seal Zelda maintained through her age-long sleep is no longer necessary. My projections indicate she will wake momentarily. So happy! I advise you to make your way to the seal temple as soon as possible. And down we go. This really feels like an ending to me. Like, amazingly so. And again, apologies for how extendedly long this episode is becoming right now, because I can't pause the game right now. <laughs> So we just have to see Link be really happy. Well, they're looking at the... Oh, the door. The door. <gasps> and there we go. Technically not called the door of time yet. One day. And pausing on the Wii menu. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next time, we're going to see this cutscene, and we're going to finish the game. Oh my god, tomorrow's the finale of Skyward Sword. Oh my god. Thank you guys so much. This has been an amazing series. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.